Paul Weaver, we uh, are here at the Swedish Open 2012. Uh, is that the first time you were in Sweden? I was in Sweden in 1985. I played in this tournament when it was at the Grand Hotel. That's a very beautiful, famous old hotel in the old part of Stockholm. How do you think it is in Sweden? Oh, I think Sweden is a great country, all of Scandinavia. And you played against uh, strong players like uh, Tore Fredersing and Klaus Elton. What do you think of the level in this uh, tournament? It's very, very strong. There were, I played uh, five opponents so far, and uh, there are no weak opponents. Everybody I've played so far is a very strong player. So you're also an archer, uh, and you have been uh, writing the book uh, Backgammon Openings. How did that go? Uh, well, Nack Ballard and I started uh, work together uh, 10 years ago, and we worked uh, for five years on it, and the book came out five years ago. So do you think there will be a second one in here? Uh, I don't think so, because it's, it's too much work and too much time and not enough money to produce a backgammon book. Okay. Well, what about the, we heard that in, in USA they have uh, bgonline.com. Uh, you were very active in there by writing and stuff like that? Yes. Uh, Stick has a website, and Stick is a, a well-known young player. And about five years ago, he started a website, bgonline.org. And sometimes I uh, post positions and uh, make contributions to the website. So this is uh, how you actually try to develop your own game and to, to improve all the time. I would recommend that anybody who wants to learn backgammon get acquainted with uh, Stick's website, uh, bgonline.org. So now you're in the last chance, and today you have to play the last chance. So, so how do you think it will go there? Well, uh, I'm not going to make any predictions, but I will, uh, I'll give it my best effort, and I'll see what happens. At least we wish you good luck and have a nice time. Thank you.